thank you to everyone who supports me on Patreon. It means so much to me. Five dimensions, six senses, seven from a mess. All right, I'm going to text mom, tell her we're on our way. How? Oh, just using my cell phone. I can send her a message. How? So I lost my freaking gourd the other day because I realized the suspension of disbelief we use when watching movies like Harry Potter. All right, so brooms fly. Or superhero movies. Okay, he becomes green when he's angry. Got it. We use on our own lives every day. Like, for instance, let me watch a million images transport at light speed into my thousands of liquid crystals and display them on this TV. That's what LCD stands for, by the way. Liquid crystal display. What are liquid crystals? And how do they make movie? And at the risk of sounding like a complete freaking moron, computer chips have become so advanced that I assumed in the 1900s we must have discovered some sort of new mineral deep in the butt crack of the earth in order to produce these things. Oh my goodness. Call it in. We just struck a rich deposit of computerite. So I decided it's time to research all of this crap. And I feel more and more like a Neanderthal the more I research it. Do you realize that the same rock that early man used to make spears in the Stone Age, we now use to make computer chips? It's not some new alien rock that crash landed from a meteor. It's quartz. I have quartz in my backyard. We just take their freaking spear rock and boil it mash it, stick it in a lava stew, and out comes purified silicon that we slice up like cheese and beam in the ability to think, apparently. And then we get mad when it takes too long to load something. Right now, you're watching this video through innocent rocks that we molested and harassed. If you took our modern day technology, like a smartphone, and went back in time and gave it to a primitive man. Can you imagine their reaction? I can tell you their reaction. After three hours, they would be complaining that the 5G is too slow, there's too many apps, and the battery life should be even longer. Aside from him not wearing a Cotopaxi jacket, he would be indistinguishable from the rest of us entitled Neanderthals. Because here's my theory. We like to think we've evolved far beyond the early man, that the spear chuckers in the Stone Age is a bygone era. We look back on like, huh, I can't believe eons ago we were so primitive and simple-minded. We are now so advanced and civilized. <laughs> okay, no. We're all still just as dumb as this guy banging a rock on another rock. Sure, we have a lot of technology, but none of us could recreate it ourselves or even know how it works on a fundamental level. Based on my research, from what I can tell, there have been about 19 actually smart people throughout history, and the rest of us cavemen have just been riding on their coattails. If we had truly evolved past the primitive man, then these new concepts and technologies that we rely on and use every day should be intuitive and intrinsically understood in our very DNA. Just like deer intuitively know which plants are dangerous, and snakes intuitively know which frogs are poisonous. Snakes don't have to learn about that in snake school. They've evolved inherently to understand it. I don't understand transistors. Why are protons positively charged and electrons negatively charged? What does that even mean? I am the spear chucker. And I know some of you watching would like to think you're part of the 19 smart people I mentioned. And you'll comment something like, actually, it's all quite simple, dear boy. It's all just atoms and reactions when you get to the root of it. <laughs> no, you're all just spear chuckers in denial. If we took a busload of all of you who think you're smart and dropped you off on an island, it wouldn't be like, all right, team. I'll go churn cement and make some roads. You guys go find rocks to make computers. Let's make some technology, everyone. On three. One, two, three. We're evolved. Here's how it would go. 
Despite all of you growing up and constantly being around technology, when you're wandering the island and come across a rock, I can tell you what you're not going to do. You're not about to make a computer out of that thing. You would take that rock and you would put it on a long stick and don't act like you wouldn't. Yes, you would. What is that behind your back? What are you hiding? Show me. Show me. Uh Uh-oh, there's gray clouds. It started drizzling. Don't want to get those Cotopaxis wet. Where are you going to go? Yeah, that's right. Find a cave for shelter, you cavemen. Because despite how advanced our civilization may have become with our smartphones and computers, we're all just spear chuckers at heart. Is spear chuckers a racist term? Oops. We need to admit there is a problem at this stage. Things are happening we do not know. The conspiracy theorist is in his right bowl.